Hey guys, so in the Bible, we see a lot of imagery about war and being warriors. So what kind of war are we facing? Got a minute? So let's start this off by talking about weapons. Let's look at 2 Corinthians. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretense that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So here we see the weapons. The weapons are not of this world. They're of divine power for taking control of our mind. Anything that sets itself up against God having control in our mind, we're taking captive every thought, and we're making it subjective unto Christ. This war, first and foremost, goes on inside of you. A lot of times we as Christians like to think, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wage war against that thing, and we almost point like it's somewhere else. We need to take down the strongholds inside of us first. Now, does this mean that we'll never end up waging war against something outside of ourselves. No, it doesn't mean that. But if we don't apply the things that we have first to the internal, then we won't be useful for the external. If we don't take the plank out of our eye first, we can't help our brother take the speck out of his. In the same way, if we don't deal with our own strongholds first, then we can't help anyone else with theirs. Does that mean that we have to be perfect in order to minister? No, it doesn't. But I can't help somebody who's struggling with something that I struggle with if I'm not willing to first wage war against it in myself. So if I struggle with lying, then how can I help somebody who also is struggling with lies? I can't, not until I get the revelation myself. So it's time to wage war. It's time for us to go at these things that are holding us back from God. Thanks for spending a minute.